back at the Sportsplex with the game of the week. This week it features the undefeated Half Moon Bay Cougars with a 23-0 record. Yeah, very impressive, but it would mean nothing if Terra Nova could upset the Cougars this week. The Tigers just one game back with a chance to pull into a tie for first place on Friday night. It's our game of the week. Jack Washer was there. When you're undefeated, you gotta give some credit to the sixth man, and boy were they excited to the game. Terranova came out firing Jared Milch, ringing up from downtown. A couple minutes later now, Jared Colvin dribbling around, and he's like, really? You're not gonna guard me? Okay, splash time. Terranova up four after that, still in the first. Tommy Nuno gets a loose ball, and he's gonna finish in traffic. This guy's only a junior, watch out for him. Second quarter, good ball movement by Terranova. Gabe Vargas slips it to Brian Montgomery, who gets the easy deuce. Then off the inbound, Casey Frayne for Half Moon Bay gets a seal. They call him Goofy, but there's nothing goofy about this. Rock the rim, young man. Half Moon Bay up eight at the half. Fourth quarter now, Sam Mitchell for three from the corner. The senior making plays and putting the Cougars up by eight, but Terranova grinding their way back. Gabe Vargas answers with a three of his own. The lead cut to five. Then somebody forgot to tell Milch the bank was closed. But you know what? I bet he wouldn't care. Lead trimmed to two after that. And then under two minutes to go, Nuno to Jake Salonero, who's as cool as the other side of the pillow. Three-pointer puts Half Moon Bay up five. But would it be enough? Under 10 seconds to go, Colvin dishes to Eric Dale. Dale, playing hero, knocks it down. And that would be the game-winning shot. Dale and Terranova pull off the upset and beat Half Moon Bay by a score of 46 to 45. And we caught up with an exciting bunch of Tigers. Terranova, they defeat Half Moon Bay. Let's meet them, guys. We're here with Gabe Vargas. Gabe, you guys lost to these guys by 18 at your place. What was the motivation coming into this game? We knew what we had to do. It was a uh... It was a tough loss. It was uh, bitter. It was very bitter. And we still, uh, we just came out with the. Uh, we were hungry. We just wanted to win. We just and we got the W. Awesome. In the middle, we got the coach's son, Jared Milch. You know, this was definitely a comeback effort. You know, how do you fight through the adversity? You know, down the first three quarters and then fight your all the way back um, into in the fourth quarter. The motivation. You know, we had a lot of motivation going in this game. Them beating us and the league championship coming up. So you know, you got to keep battling no matter what. Never give up. Down to the final guy, Gerald Colvin, yeah. running the point the whole game. Woo. I mean, with Tommy Nuno on you, he's a pretty good defender. So, you know, talk about how you were able to get past him and be successful tonight. Well, I mean, uh, like like Coach said, I use my speed, use my speed at all times. So, uh, I mean, I just set him up, drove to the basket, and I found my my man Eric Dale open for the for the game winning shot. So, I mean, <laughs> man, uh, big uh, big props to him, man, because without him, we wouldn't be in this situation right now, man. Let's bring in Eric. Where's Eric right now? Hey, what are you, all right, come on, under five seconds to go, and you get the ball. You probably were not the first option, so what are you thinking once you get the ball? I was, shoot, shoot, shoot. And that's what I did, that's what I did. Okay. Yeah. Nova, they move on, they beat Hatton Bay and ruin the undefeated season. Guys, enjoy it!